take me into uh, how you first got recorded on a on a track and where that took you to. Uh, the first time I recorded, I was uh, at my house. Um, I had a boom box, you know what I'm saying, with two tape players. One you can hit play, and the other one you can hit record and play and record your music through the speaker, just rap. So, you know what I'm saying, that was my first time recording. You know what I'm saying? And I did that was just to hear myself how I sound, you know, and I like the feel of it. Then uh, when I got older, I think uh, probably freshman year, freshman year, that summer, I think uh, everybody was talking about going to BJ the house, BJ to do music, BJ to stay up the street, you know, BJ to be rapping. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know, I didn't know who he was. I just knew he was uh, a name that was kind of growing in the community. You feel me? So I ran into him, met him, he was cool. He was cool. I told him I'd be rapping and stuff. He was like, man, come to the house. He was like, you know, we get it in, get something together, you feel me? So he played beats. He was making uh, beats off a of music generator on the PlayStation. Feel me? It was kind of a little, little, you know what I'm saying, Cordy, but you feel me? We was getting it in and it was banging. You know what I'm saying? It was banging. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> I fell in love with the hip hop culture. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, so around what time was this when you was this? I'll probably say probably like, uh, when I was 15, so I don't know, summer of what, 2000, you feel me? But you know, you know what I'm saying? I love putting them rides together. I love, you know what I'm saying? Speaking to everybody like, you got a voice for it, you got a voice for it. So, you know, I just kept going, kept going, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I don't know, like, I'm just like, I love music. Like I listen to all genres of music. It's like nothing that I won't give a chance at least, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, and then I got a couple artists that like, you know what I'm saying, really like Ice Cube, Tupac, you know what I'm saying, like motivate me to like have something to say, you know what I'm saying, in my lyrics instead of just putting words together. But shit, when you put words together and sound fresh, do that shit too. Everybody got their style, but I look at myself more as a, a, a lyricist. Like when I when I speak, I want to be heard for saying something. Like what, a conscious rapper? Uh, more or less. You feel me? Uh, I say more or less because you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you man, that gangster shit. We grew up off that shit. We grew up off that shit. I, I'm not going, you feel me? It's, but you know, I got all type of music. You feel me? Like my music be everywhere. It's like when you listen to Messy Marv, you know what you about to get. You know what I'm saying? You about to hear murder. Baby. I'm on you niggas' bumpers, niggas shit talking. I love it. You know what I'm saying? When I hear Jeezy or J Stally, I know I'm about to get. I'm about to get some fresh dope boy talk. Motivation, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to bundle up, do what I gotta do. Whenever I hear filthy, you know what I'm saying? I know it's pimping all here. You know right. what I'm saying? The Molly nigga is killing all here. Whatever, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? My thing, I be kind of all over the place, cuz. Like, you feel me? It ain't like, just, I wish, I wish that I could just, but I be all over the place, cuz I be feeling different at times, you feel me? So I talk about everything. 